Okay, so um, this video is just a little bit of background and discussion on one of the uh, 10 mental locks in Roger Van Oweck, I think I pronounced the name, I'm not really sure. His book, Black on the Side of the Head, looks like he was trying to get it in the camera there. Yep. Okay, so um, basically he just talks about some of the some of the things that we really do that block our ability to be creative and our ability to think outside the box per se. Now, one of the most uh, relating locks that he talks about in his book for me is following the rules. Now, uh, just to kind of give you a little bit of background on me, I'm going to show you around my room a little bit here. I don't know how well you see all this, um, but there's a drum set, you know, a bunch of guitars. There's another guitar there on the floor, just mic stand amps. I don't have a piano yet or a bass, but I play both of those as well, um, which lots of people think, you know, how do you struggle with being creative if you're a musician? Because music is creative, right? Right side of the brain, that kind of thing. Um, but that's not always the case. See, in music, there's lots of rules that you get to follow. There's certain notes that you put into a G chord. A C chord is composed of C, E, and G. And so, you know, there's variations of that if you want to play them. But there's those rules there, and uh, for the longest time, I struggled with following those rules. I, uh, <laughs> funny to say, most people say they struggle with following rules because they don't know how to not or how to follow them. But I don't know how to not follow them. And I think part of the reason that comes from is just kind of background in schooling and education with parents. A lot of times, you know, you're taught to follow the rules, which is necessary as kids and necessary for most of life. Um, but as far as being creative, it, it's hurtful, hurtful, as you know, Roger says in his book. Um, so one of the things that I've kind of come up with for that is to change the rules. And Roger talks about that is in his book too. And I think he does a great job illustrating this. Is um, in music, one of the great things is you can change the rules without breaking the rules. So you can invert a chord. You can play the bass as the high note or the high note as the low note. And if you know anything about music, you'll know what I'm talking about. I apologize if you don't. Um, the other thing that I found is just change the game. If I get tired of playing the guitar, I'll go play the piano because I don't think I'm quite doing it right or whatever. And so instead of just changing the rules, I actually change the game. And I think that's a great way to open up that mental lock and to go through what uh, OEC describes as break time and kind of give your mind a break and uh, think about some other stuff. So that's just kind of my take on um, his mental lock on following the rules. So uh, you guys have a great day.